Alrighty here, new version. Let's play this in full. <laughs> I like that new environment. It's all cute. I like it. That cracked me up. <laughs> that exit. All right. What I would probably do, you know, it's nice to see, you know, enough of the characters. I think you. Let me see here. Because he goes around it. I think you'd be okay to have that level of thickness here. Just imagine you just put some more here and then just thicken this up here. It's my awesome drawing skills as always, but just a bit more, just a bit. But my main thought here is that it just seems very fast in, in places. Like generally what's going on here, looks around, looks around, closes his eyes and has that. I think there's a moment where for this guy it's a bit too it's a bit too offset gets very sleepy at that point here's a very offset it's almost a bit toy story ish where i think that would be reserved for that franchise and not go super offset with the blinks but also once it's up i feel like the eye line is too high just make sure that it really looks like characters looking at this it gets a bit better through there and i know what's going on with the codec you got some ghosting going on there but well, there's a moment where we go, hmm, what is this? Whoa, and we don't quite read it. I will hold this like another six frames, a little bit of beat. And that could be a moment of this and then widening eyebrows and eyes. Then going into that and then here, and it's tricky, he's high up, but you might have to just bring that head down so that the eye line again is more like this. This is just ever so slightly too high. That's okay. And I think for something like this, so after he goes in into that and goes, hmm, it might be good to add a couple steps there, a bit of a potential sidestep over, slight adjustment back there to get into this pose. It, there's a feeling of we hit this pose, now it's bolted down, I kill legs, I don't want to move them because it's too complicated and, you know, it's too much work until here. So I would add a little bit of a change there gets to this hmm but watch out this is very similar to this if i draw a bookmark here and he gets to you know whatever to here uh and i believe if you go back and forth you can see how similar the head position is so for something like that i will go potentially closer i know he's very close there but it's kind of like hmm what is this and as the dog gets closer you know the nose might be over here a real like forward lean it would also be funny for then this guy to go back and be like what is going on here so that you're not stuck in this constant line you can see here if i draw that line that bird is stuck in this position there's nothing going on except for the head so that's the other thing i'll get to it later but loosening up will be will be good so this would be a fun thing of you know, it's kind of the exaggerated forward and then back to like, what is going on? Then that, you know, you can be here, you know, maybe not that far, but, you know, head could be back there and then go forward for this. This is too fast. So that's the big moment here where you're going to have a few more frames. And by a few more, I mean, like, maybe even that 10 frames. I know you want to go broad and cartoony, so maybe, like, try seven. It's just, it's just a bit, fa -pow, bit much. And then even this here, bit too fast. And especially with the head going back and forward again, it feels more like a, oh, oh. it's just, it doesn't, it's either like, is it a voluntary, I'm back and I want to stay back and not look at it? Or is it an impact where I go forward? But right now it's kind of in the middle between those two feeling wise. And then it's like at the end, I will give this another 10 frames to get this. I don't think he has to, what a creature has to exit frame. But there's something about, whoa, we get out of here. And it, it feels short. I don't know why. There's no technical thing about that. Watch out that we don't overextend and keep walking. I would say give it 10 more frames to go further out for an exit. Just checking. That might be good. And then the other thing, like I said, is that the bird. I will also keep this fairly straight and not so bent. But as a pose, it could be a bit more profile. There's a bit more of the body, so it's not just this neck with a little bit in there, just a bit, a bit broader in terms of that, that silhouette. And then when this happens, then you can take a couple quick steps into something where it's a bit 
not profile, but between profile and this. So now we're com we're overlapping the head here with this backside where silhouette wise, this doesn't really say anything, you know, compared to even like here. But imagine the tail feathers. I don't remember if you can move them, but imagine even if it's here, but then that is the backside and then tail feathers are here. And now this is your silhouette, just feels cleaner. And then on that turn moving over, why not turn and go full on? Now it's the other way and it takes really fun, quick little turns. And then you got this going on. And even with this could be one step back. And then as this happens, it could go, whoa, what is going on back here? Like I said, and you could be like this far away, cranking, you know, that hip back. And then ah, would be going forward, like really forward. Yeah, get out of here. Well, you're just a lot broader in terms of the pose changes. But I do like that after that. It skits out and that it goes through the legs. It's really funny to me. And I would do something where on that turn, you might be a bit broader into this so that we're a little bit three quarter. So here you can do another. Ah! <laughs> like, Get out of here. Let me pass. And right now we don't see much of the peak because of that angle. So I think this little rah, could be happening on a path like this and then up. And like I said, um, and I think, I don't know if you could, it might be too much, but even, you know, how far you want to, like, why does the, the, the wolf go back? Could it be where you can collapse these even more and then potentially have that over his eyes and he closes his eyes like, oh, I don't want to look. Is this scaring me? That could be something versus just looking. I don't know, something for it to explore. Maybe, maybe you know, look into that whole personality of, okay, this is a scared wolf, rolls back. I don't want to deal with this. And then, maybe, and then at the end, you know, maybe ah, it could be too much. I'm just concerned about folding those arms in too much, but it could just be up. Like my dog has like really pronounced legs like this. And then you can close eyes and maybe even look away. Imagine it looks, the snout is here, eyes closed. And then as it goes here, one eye opens, like dark, dark, what's going on? And then at the end, it looks up to see what's going on. And then we add like 10 more frames for that, for a bit of further exit there. Not complete leaving frame, but just a bit more. Anyway, I will go with that. These are broader changes. After that, it's more like adjusting some of these poses so we don't have that type of pose there. But I think to me, uh, it, they're broader changes that I would address first before going into like details and smoothing out lines and stuff like that. Of course, it, as long as you're you're okay with those changes. These are as always just suggestions, totally up to you. Um, but that's it. I like it. It's, it's a big, a big change. I like what the what you've done with this. Definitely broader in terms of implementing of notes, but it's cute. I like what you did here. More some original thoughts in there. It's great. Yeah, it's really cute. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.